my name is Emmanuel. I have a tutorial for you and um, this tutorial we're going to use Adobe Illustrator. So you're going to make an abstract art, an abstract art. So these are the colors that uh, we are going to use. I'm going to, to put the color codes uh, in the description below. Or you can find these codes uh, under the description of, the, of this video. So I'm going to explain in my local language and I'll be mixing up English and uh, Nyanja as our local language. So what you need to do is first Kakapanga Karektango, Karektango shape. So Kakapanga Karektango, let's say you just Kwenda kuja ku, ku menu, oh sorry, ku malayas, then you kafaka pants like I did. Then I want to change this kasem rectangle as my background. So what I'm going to do is that uh, I'm going to to put the four color, the four color. So this one is the four color, and this way there's a ka, color in karidiaka. It's the stroke color. So um. What I want, I want to put yes as the as my background. So I'm going to combine this blue and the other blue as my background. You can play around with uh, other settings to see what background you want, but I I want this uh, front background. Yeah, I want this yeah, something like this. Then I will do. I want the light to come the opposite way, so I'll do negative 180, which is the opposite of uh, zero. Yeah, as you can see this. So if you play around my ink, not my, not my colors or my settings, you you'll be able to get the result uh, that you want. So, upper, what I'm going to do, I'm going to draw a line. I can take a line, eh? So. Immediately click on the color and then you click on once the background to, to give you that thing. So what you need to do, you need to put 100 and you leave everything the way they are. Then you come up to the stroke. Then the stroke for you to see the line, you can color the black. Then you can stroke, stroke thickness. You can put whatever value you want, but I'll go for two. Hmm. So after going there, after completing Vija, I go Oku. Click a stroke path. I don't want Kankale in a solid color. What I want is Kevin Kankale a gradient. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to change things around. And Palika no Bapa, I'm going to choose my colors yellow. Look first in. Then Kaku first, I've already chosen pink. We're going to use four colors, but two will be dominant. So, pali aka number two, aka aka number two aka. I'm going to use uh, blue, and I'll set it at. Uh, oh, sorry, aka aka first. Yes, aka 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 blue aka. I'm going to I'm going to set it at forty eight percent. Then aka number two, I've set it at. 52% so yeah, blending emotion. So the next thing that I'm going to do after doing that, I'm going to put my effects up. And then I'm going to do distortion, then palast the zigzag, then pali my zigzag it should show you something like this. Then I'm going to put 3% and uh, I'm going to leave everything the way they are, they are full, then I click OK. Then after that, um, here, so, but you can still do that. Mm -hmm. So after that, um, what's next is that uh, I'm going to go back to my effects. Eh? Then I'm going to go where uh, distort and where it says transform effect. Then I'm going to put 30% here. Then copy is going to put five. Then I'm going to hit OK. Then after that, uh, you should have something like this. Then after this, you can just drag this Kathini, you put it aside, then you copy and paste this same artwork or this Kathini thingy that you have, you've, 
you've made kaka same around in the other side so that it pange kaja ka effect kaja you understand ka yes so after that manje pose gula pa property panel if you don't see your property panel you can just come here pa windows then you search for property then you click on it to open like this so here let me try to put 1000 let's see what's going to happen okay 1000 is too big hey it's too big yeah so what i'm going to say i'm going to, what i'm going to do when up on my fix you you click on appearance then when up on my zigzag up then this time i'm not going to put i'm going to put 50 then you leave the settings the way they are then you click okay hmm. so after clicking okay you have something like this then after that man let's eh? search it a foot eh? um, i think uh, we will go back a blend mode you double click on it then it should open something like this and after that the distance should be specific distance you just click on the cap the thing then you put two pixels then the cap first cap go and select it then you click okay so this is what i'm going to do i'm going to click here but the cap first cap cap first that we get to touch it so i can do it i'm going to click here and then i'm going to hover but the cap 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 so let your piece process then it should have something like this but okay this is too big uh, i want to adjust so i'm going to control z then um, i'm going i'm going back to my properties kuja the 1000 is too big let me try 500 let me see 500 pixels we see how it's too big then let me try i think half of 500 would do i think to 250 bs yes. so yeah 250 is okay so i'm going to hit okay then i'm going back to the blend mode to the blending tool which is this square like my dots to really the other one is bit light the other one is dark so what i'm going to do there is that um i want to be like that kind thing that we did before. so i'm going to hit uh, the then it should open like this if you double click that's one that's when you open but if you click it like that you won't do that so i'm going to click here and after clicking here before clicking on this should show you this plus sign immediately i click on there kaza seguk ak hey this is okay now this is okay this kafun kaka ngala so check your terms sometimes pc and even kala ngangali ko slow mine is speed slow because there are other applications that are open so i'm running multiple tasks one day ngangali ko slow pa but these are the colors that i'm using so this is what i want at least this is what i want so before we do anything i'm going to take this up so that we make a skeleton for it or spine so we just it up I'm going to use a paint tool. Ka paint tool aka. Ndeke dzapangira ka ka cave kidza kidza yuzinga manje. So dzapanga ka cave kazamba ka ngono ko then kazakulira ku ku right hand. Ku left hand side kazankala ka ngono then ku right hand side kazakula. Never in fun. So mfuna ka ngala zin. You are you you will see what I what I mean. So Yeah, something like this. You can you can be as creative as you can, but this is just to show you what uh, how I mean that kakakini. So click on this kakak icon. Okay, this one enables you to move objects around your 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 canvas. So what I want to do is I want to select both this kakakini line that I've made. and uh, with uh, with this cutting uh, that we, we have blended so i want to merge this thing and this together so what I'm, my simple way is you can highlight all of them but i think is just a highlight knife so what i'll do is just i'll group my layers and i'll highlight the blended thing like a line up okay? mm-hmm. so if i click don't say pa i'll just go where it says objects if i drop down you show then 
I go where it says blend then uh, you need to go where it says uh, replace spine okay and when you replace spine you let your PC load then this is what you get then you're good to go this is what you get so if you want to change direction like I did my mind's opposite way so what I did is that um, I double clicked on the on this whole artwork I double clicked on, on this whole artwork then this is what to show so double click on it to give you this kathini on top just know that you double click so here you can deal with these separate uh artworks that you did you remember that kathini kajaka karan katinta faka oxide then you click on it it's a, it, it is what can color highlighted like this then you build up an object then ulimba when the polimba arrange then you bring front you bring front then can color opposite the other way so after that yeah, click na palika ka arrow ka left arrow and ka bwere ra kuja then again you click na then come back to these results then if you're done you are you're good to go you have made you have successfully made ka abstract artwork ke ka one kamonga it's maybe it's a rubber or it's water or it's a liquid whatever you might call it but this is how you know you you make that abstract so you can do some changes here and here and here and there where you feel like you need to make some changes but for me let me try to adjust it and i see how it's going to fit on my canvas yes so this is my artwork so i'm going to push it a bit so that it doesn't look off or it doesn't look off a bit so yeah this is how i made that um, i made that picture or artwork or abstract work or whatever you might call it it's up to you the idea is yours so this is the the full final or the final product so feel free to subscribe to my youtube channel for more updates i'll be posting videos like this for graphic design using illustrator and photoshop every friday so please feel free to subscribe then the way you save this artwork is as you go to my file then export export or save for web then here the parameters you can try that you can just copy these settings and you set them as your own whenever you try to upload upload the high quality artwork these are the settings so feel free to copy them and uh, enjoy Tikupole, matani wo ini mwena septrina spini pamwamba ni fakapona kodini tikupole.